Um, at this time, I'd like to call forth senior Kate Wiesner to go ahead and deliver her address to the class. Kate. Class of 2021, four years, 48 months, 1,460 days, 35,040 hours, 2,102,400 minutes, 126,144,000 seconds, and countless memories. That is how much time we were students at St. Thomas Aquinas. On paper, it seems like forever, but in memory, it was just a snap of a finger. We have spent our formative years together as a class, growing and changing from boys and girls to young men and women. It all started in the fall of 2017, our freshman year. We really announced our arrival at Aquinas when our freshman bash had a surprise appearance from the ambulance. You could say that we were glad to be here. We went through freshman orientation and got lost a few too many times. Some of us brought maps to school on the first day, trying to figure out where to go, while others were daredevils and walked down senior hall for the first time. Personally, I was the former and was bumping into almost every person in the halls. We experienced our first homecoming week and it quickly became many of our favorite traditions. We showed our potential when we got second in the canned food drive as freshmen, which is unheard of. The seniors bombarded us with Hug a Freshman Friday and made it impossible for us to go anywhere without getting a hug from a stranger during passing period. Cheer got the opportunity to compete in the first state competition ever and their program has excelled greatly since then. Every morning we heard, keep your lockers locked, devices docked, and have a great day, Saints. We got a taste of what high school dances were about when we got to attend WPA for the first time. The theme, Under the Sea, allowed many people to create some pretty interesting costumes, and it was definitely a night to remember. Freshman year was a great year of first, but we thought we knew it all as we moved into sophomore year. As it turns out, we didn't. Sophomore year started out strong with homecoming week and our first homecoming dance. This was our first formal dance of high school, and the next day, all of our Instagram feeds were full of countless pictures captioned, Hoko and Happy Hoko. Later on in the fall, many of us went to the state football game and experienced Aquinas history as they won their first state championship title. On that day, many of us were so happy to call ourselves saints because as a community, we did that. Our school theme that year was Be the One, and we took that to heart and won many more state championships that year, including girls golf, boys cross, cross country, and girls cross country. In January, each of us got the opportunity to go to Washington, D.C. for the first time and stand up for life. We marched around the Capitol and represented Aquinas in the best way possible. Unfortunately, at the end of the year, we were the only class that didn't complete their class competition points goal to get their day off. But don't worry, the class of 2021 made that A day on a Monday very exciting. After all, we did get study hall in almost every class, so we basically just hung out with each other all day. Looking back, sophomore year was a year of learning in school and in life. Most of the senior class says that it was their least favorite year, but that's okay because we made it out alive knowing that junior year was just around the corner. As we crossed to the other side of Sunshine Hallway, we had high hopes for junior year. With new locker rooms and a new learning commons, we were equipped equipped to excel in all aspects. Junior year, year started off strong with a mold infested basement, but we wouldn't let this stop us. We started preparing for college by visiting schools, taking ACT prep courses, and putting ourselves through the torture of taking the ACT multiple times in hopes of getting a few points higher. Not only did we excel academically, but we also excelled in athletics by volleyball winning a state title. We celebrated homecoming week with a ginger swap for the class skit and embraced our wildlife in the Overland Park area by introducing Biscuit, Mr. Oryx's foster squirrel, into the classroom. It was a strange but memorable time. In the second semester of junior year, the Swing and Saints show choir won their first grand champion title, making history not only at Aquinas, but also in the state of Kansas as the first show choir to ever win grand champ at a competition. We celebrated WPA for what we didn't know at the time would be our last one. On March 13th, 2020, each student walked out of Aquinas like a normal day with no knowledge that that would be their last time in the building until the next school year. The unexpected happened and the COVID-19 pandemic completely devastated not only the class of 2021, but the entire school. 
One after the other, things got canceled. No rugby trip to Ireland, no junior prom, no father-daughter dance, no spring Olympics, no saying goodbye to the class of 2020, and finally, no school. For the rest of the year, we attended Zoom class after Zoom class, refusing to quit despite the pandemic. The Aquinas staff adjusted quickly under pressure and the students were determined to persevere, even in such an unknown time. The worst part was that we didn't know when we would come back. If we, we didn't know if we would be able to have a senior year. During this time, we all learned to never take this place that we all call home or these people for granted because they make us who we are. We learned to make it count. Without this communion of saints, we don't have anything. I consider myself blessed to be able to be standing here today and giving this speech because many of us were worried and scared that the class of 2021 wouldn't get the recognition that they deserve. Thankfully, the Aquinas community has come together to pursue a new type of normal, and during the summer after our junior year, the Aquinas staff worked to create this new normal for the students, but in person. As seniors going into an unknown year, we didn't know what to expect. Half of us expected to go online for at least the first semester. The other half thought that we wouldn't be wearing masks for much longer. It was all a mystery that we had to get, navigate through together and find a way. At freshman orientation, most of the seniors got the opportunity to walk the freshmen down the red carpet as our first activity as a senior class. During that time, we remembered just three years earlier to when we were those freshmen being dragged by the seniors down the red carpet. Despite the difficulty of navigating through a pandemic, we managed to make it through hybrid and started full day classes a few months into the semester, finally reunited with the whole class. Homecoming was a bit different, but we found a way to carry on the traditions and persevered as a senior class. We still decorated a tent, had homecoming mess, attended the homecoming game, and had the homecoming assembly. In the fall, boys soccer won state for the first time in six years, led by our senior soccer players. The girls volleyball team won state for the second year in a row, making it a two-peat. The boys cross country team won a state title. Dance team also had a huge breakthrough and got the opportunity to compete in the first state dance team competition in the state of Kansas. Major, the therapy dog, was introduced to Aquinas and proved to collaborate with us on all of our daily shenanigans. We had one perfect ACT score. The senior class got to experience Kairos together, together and grew closer to God and each other. We learned how to overcome our battles and lean on each other in times of need. Aquinas was able to welcome back live theater onto the stage and put on three amazing performances. While the rest of us were heading on our spring break trips, the girls basketball team won state for the fifth year in a row, making their running streak a five-peat, which is unheard of, but not here at Aquinas thanks to them. Rugby was ranked number one nationally this year and have excelled in the sport to record heights. I list all of these accomplishments because through all of the crazy adjustments and changes that came with this year, we were still able to find a way to make this year memorable and excel in everything that we do because we are saints and that's just what we do. The class of 2021 was able to have their first and last prom right here in the Aquinas gym to celebrate all that they have done these past four years. We danced the night away and made it a memorable night that no one will ever forget. To end out the year, the senior class paraded into the stadium wearing all black and ready to take on their last Spring Olympics. It was our last time as a class competing towards one common goal and we came out on top as the 2021 Class of the Year and Spring Olympics champions. Last week, we celebrated 33 athletes in the senior class who have committed to playing a sport in college. Collectively, throughout our four years, the class of 2021 has added 17 new banners to this gym, with the possibility of more to come in the coming months as the seniors finish out their last seasons. Those banners will hang, will hang in the gym forever as a reminder of the imprint that the class of 2021 has left on Aquinas. This goes to show that we always persevere to make our dreams turn into reality. Next Wednesday, we will gather together one last time to sing the alma mater and say goodbye to the place that has been our home for the past four years. To the faculty and staff, on behalf of the senior class, I would like to thank you for shaping us into amazing young men and women. You have inspired all of us beyond what you know and we truly look up to you guys so much. I know it wasn't easy and we drove you guys a bit insane sometimes. You are truly examples of what it means to be a saint.
to the student body, thank you for allowing us to lead you this year and teach you the Aquinas way. It has truly been a privilege to be surrounded by such great people every day. Don't blink because it goes by so fast. Specifically to the juniors, we are passing the torch on to you. You guys are now the leaders of the school. Make sure to cherish it because you will be sitting in our seats before you know it. To our parents, thank you for choosing and allowing us to attend a school that has put our morals and values at the forefront and shaped us into the best people that we can possibly be. We truly cannot thank you enough for giving us the biggest gift someone could ever get, which is the gift of an exceptional education in the community that Aquinas provides. You are our biggest influences in life, and personally, I have to say that you did a pretty great job raising us. The biggest thank you belongs to you. And lastly, to the senior class. During our four years, we made so many unforgettable memories, went through tragedy and triumph, breakups and makeups, went through a global pandemic, Katie Monslow forgot her shoes, had many people transfer her into Aquinas and leave our grade. We experienced an endless amount of smiles and laughter and all made it out together. Next year, we will all be split up across the country, doing great things and spreading the sainthood. Never forget that you are always welcome back to your home. When you miss walking through the halls and waving to the teachers, or taking Christmas pictures with Mr. Farnan dressed as Santa on the couch. As many of you know, I love writing people letters, so I thought I'd write each of you a letter and fill it with a few wise words from Wheezy for you to read whenever you feel like you need a little taste of home again. It is taped to the bottom of your chairs, so you guys may look at it now. We have all have had such great impact on each other during these formative years, and I hope that you will always keep a special place in your heart for your home here at Aquinas. You are a saint, once a saint, always a saint. Amor vinci omnia, love will conquer all. Goodbye from the class of 2021.